it's Alicia and for today's video I am going to be showing you guys how to add it using Filmora for your Mac but also I just wanted to mention a little bit about the sponsor and a little bit about why you guys should totally check out Filmora for yourself. So Filmora is a video editor that is one of the best and most popular video editing softwares. It's super easy to use for beginners and for professionals. It has over 300 amazing video effects, over 140 beautiful filters and overlays, and it has 25 free copyright songs in its library. So another thing is that it's super user friendly and smart and has intuitive tools that can help you to create Hollywood themed movies. It also has stunning animated titles, a green screen option, a screen recording option, and they launch new effect packs each and every month. So I'm going to drop the link for that down below and you guys should totally check it out. There's also a free trial so if you guys want to see if you actually like it, you can go and check it out for Windows and for Mac. And if you guys want to go ahead and buy it, there's an option to buy now. You can do a one-year subscription that has a bunch of updates, a lifetime license, or a business plan. I totally recommend either of these two because it's going to be so much cheaper than actually buying other softwares because a lot of them go for a lot of money, hundreds of dollars, or even some of them, while they're free, they don't have all the options that Filmora does. So here are your options. I'm going to let you guys check these out. And yeah, so let's just get started with the tutorial. So the first thing that's going to pop up when you open it is this window and it just basically uh, tells you to set the project aspect ratio, meaning like uh, how, what it looks like. So you can do a widescreen, which is what you use for YouTube videos, standard, which I don't really use, Instagram, which is just a square, and then portrait. Uh, it's basically the 9 by 16 just the other way so that you can use it for like Instagram stories and stuff. But since today we're working on a normal video, I'm going to go with widescreen. Uh, here are a couple different options. You can open a recent project. There's instant cutter and action cam tool, but today we're going to be working on creating a new movie. And when you open it up, this is what your window is going to look like. So over here is your edit, like the screen and what you're doing to it. Over here is all the different layers and editing tools you're doing. Uh, here is a menu for options and over here are different effects and stuff you can add. So first what you're going to want to do is add your photos and videos to it. So you can just click on import media and select what you want. So if you added or if you forgot to add a couple of videos or anything, you can just go to this plus here and add it. But since I have everything, I'm just going to go ahead and start editing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the plus button and it will show up in your editor down here so that you're able to edit your video. You can also add things like sample videos. There's a countdown here and different colors for your background in case you want to add like a title or something. But I'm just going to go ahead and edit this. So in order to actually like split it or do any of those effects, what you're going to want to do is just click on it until it's blue and then move your cursor, this red thing or this red line to where you want it to cut off. And you'll see right here that this scissor tool is your split tool and therefore you have two different clips and you can edit it. If you want to shorten it without splitting it, you'll see that there's two arrows pop up and you can just click and drag and it will shorten your clip. Okay. So here is a button if you want to add more movies or if you want to import more media. This is a tool to screen record. Uh, this tool right here is a voiceover, so you click on it and then you can just click start and start recording your voiceover. Uh, since I only have the built-in microphone in my computer plugged in, that's what comes up. But if you plug in a microphone to your computer, you can also use that. Uh, if you want to get rid of something, you can go ahead and figure out what you want to get rid of. Say I want to cut a little piece out here. I could just split it, highlight it in blue, and click the garbage can. Uh, if I want to crop it, I can just go to this tool right here, click on the crop, and when I drag this, I can make it a lot smaller, and I can also rearrange what specifically I want cropped. You can also crop 4 by 3, meaning different aspect ratios into squares, or you can just crop it manually, meaning you can crop it any which shape you want it. Another option at the top right here is pan and zoom so it can it's like Ken Burns on iMovie where you start with this really wide screen and then it zooms in a little bit more on her face so we can go ahead and I'll show you guys this and you just click play and this is what it ends up looking like you click OK and then this is what it ends up looking like at the end of the clip it just zooms in all the way to the end of the video. So another option that you guys have is this the little arrow and you can change the brightness, you can change the contrast, you can change the color tint and the saturation. You can also add like little effects like there's a black and white effect over here, Harry Potter, stuff like that so that you can get different lighting. You can also change the speed 
So as you guys can see here, by clicking and dragging it, it will go faster or slower. So that's the option. You can also play a clip in reverse if you click this button, but I'm not going to do that. There's also audio effects here. You can change the pitch. So if you want a chipmunk voice, you just drag it up to um, the positive numbers. And if you want a deeper voice, you're going to want it in the negatives. If you want to fade in um, the audio, you just go ahead and do this and it will tell you how long. That's basically if you're like putting two clips over like music and text and you're trying to, or music and like talking and you want to transition it, you do that. Also, if your clip is too quiet, you can just change the volume up or down. There's an equalizer, which just makes the, which is just different effects for the sound. Um, Denoise, this is really useful because it helps remove background noise, like that annoying stuff in the background that like of random like cars or whatever or just like white noise uh, and you can also change how strong you want it to be like if you want it super strong midway strong or weak and then you just click okay once you have these settings you want there's also this effect here which is your power tool basically here let me move it into the window so tilt shift just means it's a um like a blur there's different ways to do this but you could blur part of the video and the rest of it isn't blurred there's also mosaic and this is basically a sensor so you can click add and then put it over the part of the video that you want to censor. There's also percent so you can make the blocks larger or smaller. As you guys can see it's different levels of censoring. And then there's also face off. Uh, click apply face off and then you can add like a silly face or whatever to the person that you don't want to be seen in the video. And then once you have your options you can just click OK and it will show up. So the next effect is this tool right here and it's this paint palette and when you click on it you can change the white balance and the tint so if you want the clip to be a little more blue or a little more yellow you can change it here or if you need it to be purple or green just to balance the color a little better that's options right here. You can also add like specific color LUTs meaning just like different uh, effects over it. Um, there's more effects for color you could change the exposure, the brightness, contrast, vibrance, all that stuff. Uh, light, uh, you can add highlights, shadows, whites, blacks. HSL just means basically like the highlight or like the tint of the shadows and stuff. And the vignette is basically like the black or white that goes around your image as you guys can see. Okay, reset all. There's also a couple of presets here you guys can see if you want to change it to anything particular. And then the last option in this menu is this, and it's basically more video effects, changing the audio and the video. So when you add more media here, you guys will see like this is photos, text, music, more music. So that's what this is. And then now we're going to go into this menu over here, and I'll show you guys all, diff all the different effects. So up here is your media one, and this is where you add all your photos and videos. Then there's music, and it has a ton of music in their library. There's young and bright, tender, rock, folk, basically a bunch of different genres. And in order to use it, you can click on it and press this play button and it, you can listen to the music here. And if you decide you like it, click the plus and it will show up in your video. So if you only want it on a specific portion, you can click and drag where you want it. Uh, align the red uh, line with where you want it to end. Click on it and then click the uh, cut button and you can delete anything extra and you, as you guys can see you'll just have music on this part of the video. If you want to add text it's a similar thing you can go to all and decide on which text effect that you want like a title for your video so I'm going to go ahead and add this one so you click on it you can see what it looks like here and then I'm going to add the plus and add it in. And I, if I want it in between two clips, you just click and drag between the two clips. So in order to edit it, I'm just going to double click on it and it will open up this menu and I can change the text that it says. So instead of your, I'm just going to change, I'm just going to delete that part. Click delete, delete. Okay. And you just move it where you want it. And I'm going to type in Luca. And you guys can see you can arrange it. You can also change the font styles, but I'm just going to go with this one. Oh, sorry. Up here, you guys can see that there's ways to change the fonts and such. Sorry, my computer's loading. 
and these are all the fonts I already have on my computer so you can go ahead and do that you can add more text to it delete text boxes I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this extra one you can add a photo to this you can add a photo to this um, you can also add a shape you can change whether the text is like uh, italicized and such depending on the font you have you can change the size make it bold make it italic make it aligned in different parts of the screen um, and yeah, and if you want to like click and drag it to a specific part, it's that same thing as earlier, where you just click on it, move the arrow to where you want it to show up, and when you click play, you guys can see this is how your text is going to show up. And then you can just click OK when you have it how you like it, and then your title is going to pop up how you wanted it. So as you guys can see, there are a ton of different titles here for you to use, so it's super easy and simple and very adorable titles to use in your videos. Another thing here is transition, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete this title here so you guys can see the transitions better. But when you go here, you can go to all transitions, and there are a bunch of different transitions you can use. Honestly, there's so many to choose from. There's a bunch of different colored ones, and then here are a couple of shape ones. I'm going to go ahead and click on... Hmm. Which one should I use? Um, I'm going to go with this one. This one looks cool. So I'm going to go with World 9. I'm just going to click the plus and I'm going to play it. And you guys can see what the transition looks like. So as you can see, that's kind of actually a really cool transition. And there are a bunch of different ones you can pick from. I'm going to try Orb. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Uh, another option here is filters. This is basically just different filters you can add on top of your videos. Again, like I showed you guys before. And you guys can see there are a lot of them. There's also like shakes. So these are like effects that you guys can get. So you can shake it um, a little bit. Another option is overlays. So uh, if you want to be like Shane Dawson and add a glitch, you can go ahead and add that to a part of your video. So look, when you play it, it looks like that. Uh, here are elements. So it's basically things that pop up over your video. You guys can see that there are a ton of them. There's like different shapes and like stuff like that. I'll show you guys one of them. Uh, I really like, which one was it? Yes, yeah, so they have this burst confetti effect. And you can just put it over. And it's that confetti kind of like accent. Uh, there's also um, like shapes that you guys can add. Like so. That'll rotate. Um, there's a heart you guys can put. As you guys can see, you just play it and it pops up. So as you guys can see, there are a lot of different effects you can add to this. And yeah, the last step here, or the last option here, is you guys can also add split screens. So if you basically want to have two clips or three clips like over each other, it will play like this. So this pops up, and from your media, you can drop uh, different clips into each. And it will play all three of them in this uh, new effect that you want. And you just click OK. And as you guys can see, you can just place this wherever you want in the video, as long as it's a split clip. Okay, so finally, in order to export, there's a button over here. You just click export, and you can choose the device format. Oh, I don't want to save it to YouTube. Uh, you can save, oh my gosh. Okay, so as you guys can see over here, there's a bunch of different formats. You can title it, position, if you want it film or output, or you just want to save it as a download. What format you want it, if you want to just make it um, music or just a movie resolution. Uh, how many frames, you can do 60 frames for it to be super smooth. Uh, also, if you want to export to a specific device, you can also do that and you just click create and it will save it to your computer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check out Filmora, I'll be sure to link it down below so that you guys are able to edit with this amazing software. Thank you so much to Filmora for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.